Greetings everyone and welcome again to this XBMC tutorial wrap up episode. After the tutorial videos there were some questions that were asked so I thought I'd make this video to answer those questions and a few others that were posed. I was asked about YouTube for XBMC so we'll take a look at that. Also at the same time we'll look at some other popular internet video add-ons that can be added to XBMC. And lastly, we'll look at the popular BBC iPlayer for XBMC and I'll show you how to download and install it as it's not quite as straightforward as the other video add-ons. First then, let's install YouTube. To get video add-ons, select Add-ons on the video menu and then Get More. Here you'll be presented with a list of available add-ons along with a brief synopsis of what each add-on is. Scroll down to Y find YouTube and hit enter. Then hit enter again on install. This only takes a couple of minutes then it will be available on the video add-ons menu. So press enter to start it. and you can put your details in etc on the screen but I just skip this part. Now you have the program menu and it's quite clunky because you have to navigate around the areas using text only and each time the program has to compile a list of available subcategories. When I finally get to the one for one, I have to wait ages for it to load and it just gets stuck every time. It either gives me a script error or it just refuses to work. I've sped up the video here, but I actually sat there for about five minutes or so waiting for something to happen until I finally gave up and cancelled it. I tried a different category, pets and animals this time, but it still wouldn't load up. I couldn't even watch a cat video on YouTube. So overall the YouTube add-on doesn't work, for me at least. I thought it might be my connection at first but as you'll see now I add more add-ons and browse their videos fine. So while we're here let's take a look at a few more add-ons. I install TED Talks, RetroWare TV which also automatically installs Blip TV for me. I can only assume that RetroWares TV's videos are hosted on Blip TV or something. Then I do Gaming Site IGN, College Humour and Classic Cinema Online. OK, let's take a look at these other add-ons. We've done YouTube, so let's go to TED Talks. As it loads up I get this dreaded 93% loading window again, but this time it makes it past the loading screen. Same deal as YouTube though, text categories, but these load up fine and I can choose an episode, anyone that I want to watch. Seems fine, works ok, and after a shortish loading period they play just like any other media in your library. I have always written primarily about architecture, about buildings. And Retroware TV now. Menus load up fine. I try and play a video by the gaming historian and it fails due to a YouTube script error. So I guess if I can't install the YouTube add on and get that working, no videos hosted on YouTube will actually play, and that's a bit of a shame. I'll try another one anyway, and it's loaded up and plays fine, no drama. And the 720p quality of the video actually looks really good on a HDTV. Although that doesn't translate too well through a camcorder, but you have to just take my word for it. onto IGN and it loads up the same as the others but I have to say it actually is quite a bit faster. The videos load up quicker and show you the buffering on screen 
rather than nothing happening. And it's actually nice to watch IGN videos without hordes of adverts on the web page or at the start of every single video. All in all, pretty good. Infinity Slayer mode, um, and here you can see Ryan's just picked up Saw, which is a new uh, UNSC weapon in Halo 2. College Humor was a bit of a strange one. At first, some of their original content failed due to an error, add-on.py, whatever that is. So I thought it might be the same as the RetroWare TV add-on, as in the original content was hosted in one place and their bought-in material was hosted somewhere else because the original content didn't work at first but then I went back to try some more of their own content and it worked that time so I honestly don't know what to think it's kind of hit and miss Classic cinema didn't work at all. I just kept getting add-on.py error every time I went to play a video. Thought I'd have a quick look at the one that was installed automatically now, Blip TV. Now I know from looking online through a web browser that it has a massive library of content, but I just wanted to see if it worked. Went into one series called The Complex and it actually had a different interface which was nice to see and on top of it the video played fine even though it took about two minutes to buffer a four minute video all in all it worked okay Hello Mr. Boris the super Hello Right then, on to iPlayer. Now for those of you who don't know, or don't live in this country, iPlayer allows you to watch BBC TV shows online, and it's so successful it's been ported to Android, iPhone, Xbox and other consoles, as well as being available on Sky and Virgin and BT Vision. And most new smart TVs have actually got it built right into their interface now. Unlike other add-ons, it's not on the list, so to install it you need to download a zip file from this website. Links below. Once you have the file, you need to be able to access it from XBMC. So I've put it in a folder in my video library, just so I don't have to add another folder from my network. But you could put it on a USB drive and plug that in. Then to install it, go to System Settings and scroll down to add-ons. This is the main add-ons menu rather than the individual one you get in the videos or programs menu. So click install from zip file then navigate to your zip file, hit enter and that's it. Once it's installed it gives you a notification and then you can access the program through the video add-ons menu. Not sure how it knows to go straight to the video add-ons but whatever, it makes sense. So I try a standard definition program and it worked fine. Canals with Julia Bradbury, classic BBC4. Then I went into the BBC HD category and tried Dragon's Den. Apart from the aspect ratio being slightly off, as you can see in the top left corner with the BBC iDent, it's totally fine, exactly the same as watching iPlayer straight through a smart TV or a console.
So that's iPlayer, YouTube and a few other add-ons. Give them a try and let me know in the comments how you get on. And if anyone knows how to solve that pesky addon.py error, that would be pretty helpful. Thanks for watching.